Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video doing the ECM WF42 Day Slash Six weeks will care for today's uh, second video for the UK and for Ireland and I shall get on with that for you in a moment Just say that first music was our 6am upload We've got weekend forecast going for later on today And that was another 10 to 14 day as well So please like, share, subscribe on the videos And thank you so much everyone for doing that, thank you so much to ECMDF.int for supplying the charts as well. That's amazing. It's incredible. This is going to take you to September, by the way. I know a lot of you are waiting to, for a cool and wet September, but I know why. So we'll see what the ECM model is forecasting for early September a little bit later on. Of course, we've got August to get through, uh, first of all, August data before that. Uh, by the way, the wider European outlook, extended European outlook with this model as well as on a Tuesday. So uh, this is posting on Ireland and the UK, but of course we look at it again on a Tuesday with a uh, with a focus on you know the, the, the European scene. Right, okay, let's have a look at week one mean cell pressure anomaly. Now this is going to take from the first week to the eighth of August and next week. Basically, we'll see high pressure dominating across much of uh, Western Europe, including the UK and Ireland. 500 millibar high anomaly shows an area of above, from the Arctic North Pole view down, by the way, shows an area of above average height, high pressure building in to uh, the western side of Europe. The temperature anomaly showed a little bit of, uh, of a north-south split for the UK and Ireland, so it could on average actually in the north, Scotland, Possibly Northern Ireland, cool and average. Uh, further south, though, warm and average, especially so through England and Wales. And the week one precipitation anomaly is drier than normal in most areas. So a warm, dry week, especially so in the south. Dry, but a little bit cooler further north. Right, week two is going to be the 8th through the 15th of August. High pressure is dominating. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. High pressure is dominating across the north and the west of Europe. Winds will be in from the east with that. Hints of a bit of a scandy, really. Certainly high pressure over the UK, though. Bring lots of dry and you would have thought very warm weather with it for the second week of August. 500 millibar high tide. Look at this. Looks uh, very, very anti-cyclonic. Big area of high pressure there. Well and truly in control of the weather. Week 2 temperature and I from the 8th to 15th of August. Looks very warm, possibly hot. Looks really hot for France in those uh, deep red coats. Not quite as hot as that. From the UK and I, but it's certainly like one to three degrees above average, which is going to be really warm to your heart uh, there. So, a bit of a heat wave potentially, I think, through the second week of August. Wow, wow, wow. And um, precipitation wise, I'm so sorry, but I'm a little bit giddy while I'm doing it. Precipitation wise, it's significantly drier than normal, actually. So, the, the, you by this point, might be talking about a drought, you know, the, the prolonged dry spell slash drought. Uh, goes on and potentially really hot in the second week of August too. Week three will be the 15th, 22nd of August. Oh, all that high pressure goes away. Where does it go? Maybe over here towards Newfoundland. There's some high pressure there. Otherwise, like lower pressure across much of southern Europe. And I'll put a question mark or two there, I think, because it's not all that clear what's going on. Maybe we're transitioning in that week from the high pressure to something a little bit lower with pressure. However, 500 millibar height on it still looks anti-cyclonic, though. Look at me, it's above average height still extending in from the Atlantic into Western Europe. So that could be another mostly dry and uh, um, warm week. The temperature I'm not quite as hot there, but still significantly above average for week three. For most parts of Ireland, England, where it's just a little bit closer to normal, maybe for Scotland. And I don't know if it's going to be quite dry. Precipitation anomalies, it's a weakening signal, but precipitation anomalies still is overall pretty dry. So, we've got a, like two weeks there through the first half of August that really looks, um, you know, really looks classic, actually, or, or the middle two weeks of August, I should say. Really looks classic um, for summer weather. Week four will be the 22nd to the 29th of August. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Hints of a little bit of high pressure coming back again uh, across Scotland and maybe extending back in towards Scandinavia. So that once more could bring wind back into the east. That could be another very warm or dryish sort of week. 
Look at that, 500 millibar hydron just keeps that area of above average heights, high pressure anchored and rooted right in over the top of the UK. It's a very, very dry July, um, August I should say, if this is right. The temperature anomaly looks very warm, possibly hot there in the final full week of August. Blimey. Um, <laughs> so sorry, precipitation and nice. It's quite exciting though, isn't it? We've not had a hot, really hot August for a long while, but maybe this is it. Precipitation anomaly on the 2nd, 29th of August still hints at being rather on the dry side. Right into September then. This is the 29th of August to the 5th of September. How's it looking? Uh, mysterious. Mysterious. I'll put in some question marks. One. Two, three, three question marks. What's happening in the 500 millibar height anomaly? Well, that looks anticyclonic though again. Into early September, high pressure goes on. If that's right, above average heights keep it dry and very warm into the beginning of September. The temperature anomaly is still very significantly above average there. For week five and the precipitation anomaly. It's a weakening signal, but still hints of being a little bit on the drier side, I think. So, beginning of September, the hot, dry, or very warm, dry weather goes on. And then, lastly, week six will be the 5th to the 12th of September. This is it. And again, not much to work with from the mean steel pressure and only point of view. Let's put in a large question mark and go to the 500 millibar. Height, see if they're anti cyclonic. No, actually, you have a change here then. So, uh, going to week six, and again, let's put in the question marks. The temperature anomaly from the 5th to the 12th of September is still above average, but that's not quite as hot as it is in the previous weeks. And the precipitation anomaly, no real signal there, no real signal. By the time we get to week 6, the 5th to the 12th of September. But what about that, everyone? What about that? I don't know. Do you? What do you think about that? Let me know in the, I'm so sorry. Let me know in the comments what you think. So it looks as though August is going to be very anti cyclonic here. It looks like we're shaving up for a very dry, if not quite hot, August, actually. Which is a bit of a turn up for the book, because normally we think of August as being like uh, a cool, <laughs> cool, wet sort of uh, end to summer uh, over recent years. But it looks like this August might be the one that's going to deliver uh, a hot and dry month. We should wait and see about that. By September, it's all getting rather flimsy and it's not really clear what's happening. So I think at least September alone for the time being, August could be bringing. Uh, us a classic summer month, which will bring to an end, of course, a classic hot summer. We shall see, and time will tell. If you enjoy the video, please you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We're going to be back later on with your weekend forecast, and also attend to Autumn Day as well. And we'll keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.